To calculate the formal charges for PO3, 3 minus, the phosphite ion, let's first look at the Lewis structure. So we have a Lewis structure here that we think is correct, and we think it's the best or most likely Lewis structure for the PO3, 3 minus uh, ion. So let's do the formal charges. We'll start first with this oxygen right here. And we know that oxygen has six valence electrons by looking on the periodic table. It's in group 6A or group 16. So we'll put six here, and we're going to subtract non-bonding valence electrons. These are the electrons that aren't involved in a chemical bond. They're not between atoms. So we have two, four, six of those. And then we'll subtract the bonding electrons, and we'll divide it by two. So the bonding electrons, these are the electrons between the atoms. They're what's shared between atoms, and they form the bond. They hold the atoms together. For the phosphorus and the oxygen right here between these, we have two, and we'll divide that by two. So six minus six is zero, minus two over two gives us a formal charge of minus one. We can take and put that right here in parentheses, and we now have the formal charge on that oxygen. Let's take a look at the next oxygen. So for this oxygen right here, it's actually the same as the oxygen that we just calculated the formal charges for. That means we really don't need to calculate them again. It has the same electronic configuration there. The electrons are all organized in the same way. So we're just going to put a negative one up here. And then likewise, this oxygen down here, same thing. So we can put a negative one there in parentheses. Let's take a look at the phosphorus atom and see what the formal charge on it is. So phosphorus is in group 15, also called 5A sometimes, and it has five valence electrons. Phosphorus will always have five valence electrons. Now, non-bonding valence electrons, phosphorus only has these two right here. We'll subtract those. And bonding, we have two, four, six. So we're going to subtract six, but we'll divide it by two. And five minus two is three. Three minus six over two is zero. So the formal charge on this phosphorus is zero. And we're done. We've calculated the formal charges for the PO3, three minus ion, phosphite ion. If you add all the formal charges up for each of the atoms, you'll see that you have negative one plus negative one plus negative one plus zero. That gives you a negative three. And that makes sense because we have a total charge of negative three on the phosphite ion. So those are the formal charges for PO3, three minus. And this is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.